It now turns out that I can't use this um, core pack. This one I got the part number off um, the Mega Squirt uh, uh, website, the manuals, um, saying that this was suitable. But um, I've since found out after speaking to uh, uh, a specialist who knows Mega Squirts that this um, has its own igniters, which is why I thought I'd need it. But the Mega Squirt has its own igniters already in it, so uh, he said the best thing to do would be to go to a, uh, a Ford Wasted Spark um, coil pack. So I've got one of them now, which is here, right here. This is what I'm going to be using. Uh, it's a Ford Mondeo uh, coil pack, which should run the spark side of uh, this engine, no problem. So we'll get that all wired up. And um, I just need to find a plug for it. Uh, get that wired up and then uh, see if it works, see if we get a spark. Right, so that's all in, uh, it's all wired up now, it's all um, on a piece of wood and uh, all the wiring is all there. We've just followed the wiring diagrams on the um, uh, Mega Squirt website, um, really easy to follow. Uh, the wiring diagram was um, quite good to go and uh, I've got quite limited wiring skills anyway. Um, the only problem we did have was um, getting it all connected up uh, and telling the Mega Squirt what to do through the laptop. Um, so I did go online, have a look, see if I could find anyone who would uh, sort of give us some information on that, and uh, found a chap. Of course, Sean, he um, he remotely connected up for us, uh, but we still couldn't quite get it going. And he, luckily, he didn't live too far away, so he popped in. And as you can see in the uh, in the short video, he was here just um, going through the different procedures, making sure everything was. Uh, as it should and then with a little bit of fuel and a little bit of correction um, engine went and we were away so um, he did a few setting up on the AFRs on the wide band just to get the fuel and good as a sort of a base point to um, get that all going and um, and get it running so it's all safe and not running too lean or too rich so um, it's pretty much ready to go on a rolling road and just have the uh, all the AFRs and bits and pieces all set up now. Um, but anyway, if you need, if you do fit a Mega Squirt to your uh, car, to anything, um, and you have any problems, he is definitely the guy to speak to. Um, really, really helpful. Really um, uh, ready to give the information as well. So I'll put a link uh, into the description box below uh, for his contact details. While Dad's been sorting all the ECU side of things, I've just been um, tackling the little jobs that we've got to do. So I've got the centre console all made out of alley and all mounted in. We've got a couple of gauges in there um, and switches and stuff. So that's now all in and we'll just keep adding to that. I think we're going to put the ECU on the side of it as well. I think that's where we've decided to put it. Um, also, I have made a bracket for the hydraulic handbrake. So it's literally just a piece of plate bent it and drew some holes in it to mount the handbrake itself to it and we couldn't really find a good position for this because there isn't a lot of room um, in this area so we decided that down by the driver's seat is the best position so first things first I'm going to need to mark this all out where it's going to be uh, precisely uh, clean it all up and then I can get this fully mounted in then it's just a case of um, like doing all the brake lines and everything which shouldn't be too complicated basically just uh, pipe from the servo 
to the hydraulic handbrake and then from the hydro to the back brakes or to a T-piece in the back brakes. So that shouldn't be too complicated. So yeah, first things first, I'm just going to get this all cleaned up and get all the hydro fully mounted in. edge on it or put a square on it you can tack that on and then that should just go straight into place shouldn't it and then that's just got to be welded to there and there yep. sorted just tacked the hydro bracket together, um, squared it all up and put a weld along it as well. I've got one weld on the outside and then a couple of stitches on the inside. I've put a bit of plate on there, just tacked it on just to stop it pulling from the feet when I welded it. Um, so that's all done now. Uh, I'm just going to run the sand around it and then put some weld through primer on the inside um, just because it'll be a bit easier to get to in there and harder to get to when it's welded in. So I'm gonna, now going to get that all painted and then get that all welded into the car. Right, that's the hydro plate all welded in now. Um, I'm just going to put some paint on it and then I will bolt the hydro back in and then I can start looking at the brake lines and getting all them sorted. So what I've done is transferred everything onto an aluminium plate and screwed it all down, screwed everything down in place and pinned all the wires exactly where they need to be just so we don't get any pulls and tugs and stuff like that. And I quite like the idea that you're not really going to see it and all the wires are going to be all tucked up out of the way and all the wires that come off the back of this harness here I've put through, drilled a hole in the back of the glove box, sent them all down the back and then through a hole, I don't know if you can see that very well, a hole up under the floor. I quite like the idea of that, I quite like that it sits, sits in there, out of the way, out of sight, and because um, I did think about putting it all on. On a bit of metal, a bit of aluminium down there, but the thing is, I thought, well, with the pass with passengers, you could end up having them hitting it all the time with their legs and what what have you. So I didn't like the idea of that. Right. So one thing I was struggling with, and that's the crank sensor, the original crank sensor that comes on a Volvo. Now I couldn't find out which wires were what to go on to the Mega Squirt. Um, so there's an auto electrician guy on our site called Andy. 
I went to see him and uh, he managed to download or get the drawings for the Volvo 940 um, and basically tell me exactly what wires 1, 2 and 3 were. So we now got that sorted, so thanks Andy for that. Uh, I'll put a, a link to his social media in the in the description box below. Okay, so I'll just let you know where we are at the moment. So I've now got the wires all on the injectors. Um, it's now on bank one, one and four, bank two, two and three. Uh, that's how we had it running uh, when that was all on a piece of wood and all laid out and wired. So that should be all good. I haven't got a plug yet for my crank sensor. So all I've got is some spade terminals with each one on the terminals um, and we're getting a pulse from um, the crank sensor and the crank and the toothed wheel so that which has now showing up on the Mega Squirt software. Um, I've got water temperature in, I've got coil pack wires in, again that all runs along there, it's a little bit messy at the moment because I'm going to just make sure I've got no problems and then I'm going to wrap it all in um, when, I, uh, when I know that's all good. And here I've got air temperature sensor which is a uh, compressed air uh, temperature um, I welded a boss in here we machined that up in the lathe um, put that in there I haven't got a plug so I've just had to squeeze on two terminals now they are mega tight fit in there um, so that's why I had to just squeeze them on uh, crimp them wires in there while they're on because um, I had to really sort of tap them on but I'm going to try and get a plug for that anyway, hence why I've left plenty of wire. So I think we're pretty much there. I think I think we're now ready. I've got the live going to the Mega Squirt. It's now on the ignition switch as well. So I think what we'll do is just connect that boost pipe up, have a clear up the tools, and then uh, see if we start. Hopefully we do. If not, I've got to start looking and seeing what's going on.
Right, so that's the Mega Squirt all in. When they got all the wiring in, um, that's all the injector wires all going to the correct spots. Correct injectors, uh, just tied it up along that back bulkhead. Coil pack, uh, wires are all connected and taped up now. We've got air temperature sensor under here. Uh, water temperature. <clears throat> We've got coil pack. We've got injector wires as well. That's it for this uh, video. Um, next thing I think I'll probably be putting the, doing the suspension and the lock kit. And also might be installing the throttle position once we get that. But other than that I think we're there for now. At least we'll get it going and we can always upgrade it a little bit later on. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.